you ready? Um, Brandon, obviously that's a tough one to lose. I mean, what what did you see down the stretch? I mean, that the kid hit that drive and then got the free throw, and that was basically it. Yeah, yeah uh, they made some tough plays on the stretch. Uh, they put the pressure on us. Um, they're one of the baskets strong. Um, they made a lot of free throws, which is in their favor. Um, uh, Nance was able to make a nice play at the end there and uh, make the free throw as well. So that was, that was tough for sure. Just move your chair closer. Tyler, um, you hit that three you know, late in overtime to get you guys within up by four. I mean, what do you think then? I mean, there's certainly a uh, under two minutes to go, but they were able to battle back there. Yeah, um, we're just waiting on the wings for the shot. I ended up doing very good with the pitches. I don't think after missing a couple shots to finish the game, but we just stayed pumped with energy. Do you think confidence was the story of your night, Tyler? Getting a double double, probably best, you know, statistically nice game. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't too worried about my points. I just knew like the bubble thing was getting rebounds, and I knew my shots were getting done. Yeah. Um, Brian, were there points to there in the last few minutes where you thought you had control of the game? Uh, definitely. I mean, we were up, I think it was 66, 62, if I can remember right. Um, and we had the ball as well. Um, we weren't able to get a basket there. And Basket or something, but um, <coughs> basket there would have helped, obviously. But uh, we should have, we should have still been able to make good plays on the defensive end to still close that game on being up by four. Tyler, I mean, I know this is you know there that doesn't really matter right now, but I mean the first matchup they handled you guys pretty well. You guys are able to you know have a tight game today. What you what do you think you guys did? better tonight against them that you maybe didn't do last time? Well, at, the, at our first game against them, we kind of struggled offensively. We were really hitting our shots. And tonight we really hit our shots, but um, more importantly, on defense, we really locked them up, especially in the first half. Uh, Vance is pretty talented player. He didn't make some big shots in this game. What was it like dealing with him? I mean, yeah, he's good. circumstances of the game before the room you walked away from the guy today. Yeah, just uh, learn from it is the biggest thing. Um, Coach Sam is talking to us in the locker room. We're, we're doing a better job of competing, and uh, you know, we're right in there in the game. We just got to find a way to close it out like we did at Texas State. Um, the Wyoming was a very good team. thought we did a really good job tonight. We obviously would have been nice to come up with a win, but uh, we can use this road trip to, to learn rest of the year, especially going forward through summer league play, and especially use it as motivation for us. I mean, nobody likes to lose this way. So, just, but we also got to put it behind us. And, I mean, we got Kansas State coming up right around the corner, so we got to prepare for them too. Just getting over the details at the end. What were some things that you thought you guys did well tonight? Because obviously it's a physical game. It's been the last time you played these guys. Yeah, um, our defense in the first half was excellent. I thought it was pretty good in the second half, too. Uh, they made some tough plays. They attacked us off the dribble. Uh, they were getting some calls. But um, I thought we did a good job of going inside to, to Trevor and Black. Those two did a great job for us. Um, we made some shots, which we didn't do last time we played them. And we just played hard. I mean, we, we gave a better effort today than we did last time we played them. That's, I mean, that's pretty evident. Brandon, uh, what does that mean to have not only you know, Trevor consistent, but now Tyler, you know, had a nice offensive game to have that one, two. Oh, it's huge for us. I mean, we knew Flack could do it all along, and we never doubted him or anything like that. It's, I mean, him having a big night for us is huge because now we've got two guys in the post that can really battle down there and, and get fouls and get baskets. They're both rebounding for us. Uh, it's huge, and it makes the job on our, our guards easier. We don't have to shoot as many outside shots. We'd much rather just throw it into them. One or two more players. Have you ever been in that situation before where you had to try to miss a free throw? <laughs> I 
Okay. So I don't know if I've missed it that well before. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't supposed to come to me. It just kind of worked out. I was trying to get it to the right side to Eric because I saw Nance was on the other side. I didn't want it to go near him. But I guess he just sort of got a lucky bounce and they fell. So. Tyler, I mean, I know this is probably not something to ask right now, but what do you think of the whole idea of coming to Rapid City and playing in front of this kind of a new setup? That was great because we're so far on the eastern side of the state that a lot of the West Indies are going to see us. And we've not seen a lot, a lot of alumni going out to U.S. Army and meeting a lot of new people. And it was a great experience for all of us. They should have kept some of those Wyoming fans out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Too many of them in there. <laughs>